Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again and uh, I get many requests to make videos on success in creative field, creativity business so therefore I thought it's high time I make a video I have already made a video long back on this but not directly so here it is, here we have another example chart of of a lady who has been uh, extremely successful in the creative field uh, especially she is very successful in fashion designing and therefore this is the perfect chart to use and somehow um, I cannot reveal the board details or any other details of this person and now another disclaimer which I would like to give um, maybe you see this video and you feel oh I also have this placement okay I also have this criteria but why am I into IT why am I into accounts why am I into uh, sports why am I not into creativity okay so the answer is because even if you have all the placements or even one or two or three of them you will still have some other prominent placement which will uh, make you do something else in life okay so don't think this these are the only combinations and there are no other combinations there are thousands of combinations but we do not have the time to study all of them so i have made some uh, observations in my experience and by that i am going to share so if if this helps you can take it okay and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so what is creativity basically creativity is a is a result of the trines basically the creativity comes from the trines okay which means the fifth house and the ninth house and which are the planets that give you creativity well that is mercury and that is venus and that is moon and that is jupiter because these four are the natural benefics irrespective of the fact they are functional malefics or functional benefics they will always 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 make you very 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 creative okay so what are the principles that um, i have observed that makes a person very creative okay so let's discuss that first and later on we will see uh, what are the principles that can make you very successful in using this creativity as a career option for you okay because you will see many people they are having a lot of creativity uh, and they are very good with it and they are very happy with it doing it in their part time or after their job or business and they are perfectly happy there is nothing wrong uh, but you will see there are some people who just don't do this in their leisure time you know this is like their full time work it's like they are self employed or they have a business around it so now either ways it's fine but today we will discuss how to uh, how to see if that will convert to a business or that will not convert okay all right so as i said for the trine for creativity you need to check the trines and the natural benefits okay so in my experience i have seen if uh, the natural benefits are linked to each other in some way to the extent they are linked with each other to that extent the person is very creative because the natural benefits jupiter moon mercury venus they always give you a sense of liveliness so therefore that's very good for creativity and especially if they rule certain trinal houses and then they are associated that is like 10 times more okay so now you see what is happening in this chart we have the trinal lord which is and i have also seen if the trinal lords are in these houses in in the trines itself or they are mutually aspecting or they are under some kind of yoga then also uh, it's very good for creativity so um, now you see what's happening here we see the fifth lord is jupiter again 
the ninth law is again moon you see i said if these natural benefits are ruling more uh, ruling the trines and then they are associated that is even better so what is happening here you see jupiter and moon are aspecting each other they are forming gaj kesari yoga okay now of course jupiter is uh, not very well placed here third house is not a great house for jupiter uh, and it is also in debility okay so this can show uh, initially there are a lot of struggles but uh, because the ninth lord is supporting uh, because moon is the ninth lord so therefore uh, when when the person gets good guidance from the superiors or uh, seniors in that very field uh then the person can rise very high in life okay but at least this aspect is there okay so therefore this makes this 39 axis is very powerful then we see this uh, venus is also there in the ninth house it is also in this jupiter moon axis this is a fantastic combination especially i have seen if the moon is somehow linked with jupiter and venus or jupiter or venus then i have seen the person is uh, naturally very creative somehow okay because uh, these are two great benefits they are impacting the moon so the person always wants some uh, some liveliness some color some charm some beauty around themselves right so now that can manifest in different ways the person could love to dress the person could love to uh, keep themselves uh, very attractive or they might just love you know painting or drawing singing dancing whatever it is and therefore we can conclude from this at least these principles i have seen working so now uh, we also have to check the situation of the other houses okay so for example if you check in this chart the lagna lord is placed in the 10th house so the lagna lord placed in the 10th or the 11th is the best placement for finances as you all know then the 10th lord is itself in the 10th house okay so lagna lord conjunct the 10th lord in the 10th house this is one of the best placements that you can have for finances then again the 11th lord is in the 10th house 11th lord mercury is again in the 10th and 6th lord is also mars it is also in the 10th house so whenever the lords of the 2nd 6th 10th and 11th are sitting in each other's houses or sitting uh, with each other some anywhere or in these houses or at even aspecting each other or these houses then that is that these are the best placements that you can have for success in career so here jupiter the second lord aspects the 11th then the sixth lord mars is in 10th the 10th lord is in 10th 11th lord is in 10th these are extraordinary placements you won't find uh, such placements in general okay and um, again if you see this lagna lord which is mars is again associated with mercury which is another natural benefit there you see so therefore uh, this this makes the person even more creative because the lagna lord is somehow associating with it okay but that is not all there are many other things which we have to check so one of the key things that i check is uh, primarily for Uh, arts and creativity i generally check the third house okay so if because the third house is primarily the house of arts and creativity okay and fifth house is more of that uh fifth house is also creativity but it is more of uh, certain things like uh, i've seen like you know love or romance or you know trying to make things better with somebody else it's not and individualistic uh, creativity i have seen fifth house is like okay i am very creative when i stay with somebody else but third house is like no what do i do when i am alone so that's the third house so i have seen uh, for fashion designing and other beauty related stuff 
especially for ladies i have seen if uh, if planets like moon or venus associate with the third house then this can really 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 do wonders for them all right especially venus i have seen for ladies now it depends what kind of business you are wanting to go into so that can change the uh, equation but but i have seen especially venus associated with the third house for ladies it's very good for uh, creativity so here you see uh, venus is aspecting the third house again okay and we also have moon who is aspecting the third house and jupiter itself is there in the third house so this this these blessings of the trines especially jupiter and moon these are coming from her past life actually okay so which which does not mean that she does not have to make efforts in this life everybody has to make efforts of course but this means that she will start from a very high level which means what she can achieve in this life uh, it, it is very difficult for normal human beings to achieve in that sector okay because she has been doing this for many 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 lifetimes the trines can show things that you have been doing for many 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 lifetimes okay so she has individual combinations for great career success so for example lagnesh in 10th 11th lord in 10th 10th lord in 10th 6th lord in 10th these are like uh, these are the best placements to have for career success especially the 10th and 11th house but she also have uh, this jupiter moon venus in that 3 9 axis you see but again as i said uh, that is also not enough okay uh, i have seen that if somehow the seventh house is not associated then that does not convert into business i have seen okay which means if the seventh lord is not involved somehow it does not uh, convert into business which means it stays very localized okay or it doesn't uh, spread that fast or it doesn't go viral basically but here in this case if you see uh, the seventh lord is venus who is again venus himself a natural benefic and is in the trines aspected by jupiter and conjunct moon which are again great benefics so this further enhances the yoga okay and apart from that if you check the navamsha okay the navamsha also has to be seen so now um, many people may be doing this creativity work from their past lives but does it mean that they are very good when they do this well for that you have to check the navamsha what is going on in the in the d9 chart okay so if you check carefully again this mercury venus is in trines do you see that venus is here and mercury is here okay and in navamsha chart sun mercury venus can be very far so don't get confused so here you see this 39 axis is even more powerful okay and third house can especially show uh, things related to creativity in the navamsha that uh, that you have perfected in your uh, past lives okay so so this person uh, for this lady it is like uh, she has just been able to pick up things just without without much efforts because uh, both in the lagna and in the navamsha the trines are very much supportive again this mercury is again in the ninth house you see venus is again in the third house which i said is individual creativity and they are under mutual aspect so this is also another fantastic placement that you can have you know and apart from that uh, there are actually many other placements which you can see so for example i have seen sometimes that if if the natural benefics are sitting in the signs of natural benefics then also the creativity increases okay so which means if jupiter moon mercury and venus are sitting in uh, the in their 
in, in the signs ruled by these planets okay so for example cancer taurus leo or virgo gemini and then sagittarius pisces so then also the creativity is very is very good actually so uh, here also you can see that moon and venus are sitting in the sign of cancer okay so apart from this there are also many 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 other indications so for example and now let's talk of the challenges which uh, she had faced so as a part of the challenges you can very clearly see this uh, saturn rahu ketu this is there in the 612 axis so <coughs> Uh, this can give the person a feeling that i am working too much but i am not able to save much money so yes that is a constant complaint which this lady has that she is not able to save much money even though she earns a lot of money so it's not important how much you earn it's more important uh, to see how much you will save at the end of the day okay because uh, you may you may earn so much but if you have too many expenses then what is the use of your earning it's, it's such a waste of time you are just not able to save money right so i had suggested her to do certain mantras and certain remedies for the 612 axis especially uh, some mantras related to saturn and uh, because saturn is the karaka for the 6th house and mars also so and saturn is also the kalak for the 12th house and mars is also the lagnesh so some mantras are suggested for saturn and mars and to some extent for mercury also because mercury is the 8th lord in the 10th house okay so uh, therefore and i also suggested this uh, lady to uh, fast on fridays because venus is not in a very great sign here it's in cancer so i mean for for venus uh, cancer is not a not a very great sign of course so therefore uh, this is how you can understand uh, how how there are good things how there are challenges all right so of course there are many other placements like the fourth lord is in the 12th which can show uh, fourth lord saturn is in 12th and if you take rahu for aquarius also you can see it is again in uh it is again in adustana which is the 6th house okay so both the lords of the 4th house are in dustanas and one is exalted and one is rahu which is not in a great sign for rahu of course aries so yeah the, these are uh, some challenges which the person has faced so some of this person uh, she says that she is not able to decorate her home properly but she decorates every other person's home and whenever she wants to decorate her own house uh, some problem or the uh, some problem comes up and she is like why why in the universe this is happening to me okay and in the navamsha also if you check she has uh, this ketu in the fourth house which can uh, give us give her a sense of headlessness and confusion and not having direction when it comes to her own uh her own house basically okay so yeah it's pretty weird i understand but yeah that's how life is uh, life is weird sometimes people are weird actions are weird okay all right so these are the factors which uh, which you can see in a horoscope so don't forget to check the navamsha navamsha is very important so now suppose one last thing is if this lagna chart would be there uh, the same but suppose the navamsha would be different you know this mercury venus would not be placed here they would be placed somewhere else and they would not be aspecting so then what would happen well then also this person would have uh, been able to uh, transform her uh, creativity into a good business but the level would be very low okay she would have uh, e either of the two things could happen either she would not rise very much or either she would have to put 10 times more effort because this is not coming from her past life which is the d9 okay so therefore that is how you know how to use the d9 so the d9 will give a different stature to the horoscope itself okay to the d1 so 
therefore it's very important to check and there you go if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your career then you could always go to my website down in the description section and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is inquisitive or enthusiastic to start a business or a career in creativity all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much